2023 I experienced a lot of burnout, a lot of overwhelm and I did a lot of overworking so I knew my goals in 2024 needed to change to definitely focus more on balance and of course on fun. Creating a vision board is absolutely one of my favourite things to do in the new year to help visualise your new year, new self and also to act as that daily reminder of what it is that you're working towards. But along with the vision board, over the last few years I have also loved to have a saying that guides my actions and my intentions for the year ahead. So last year's, as you can probably guess, the saying was more around the importance of consistency and working hard, but in 2024, live in the present, say yes more was formed with the overarching goal to just live in the moment and really experience all that life has to offer. We each have hundreds of choices every single day about how we want to spend our life and those split second decisions do really determine our future. Living in the moment for me is about saying yes to adventure, saying yes to spontaneity and also to the unknown. It is something that actually really scares me but I know it's got so many benefits. My mindset around living in the moment, it definitely wasn't born from a single day or a single event, but rather from a combination of my 23 years of life experience. But after my year of burnout and overwork, I realised that I was just always chasing the next goal, the next milestone, and I never really was truly appreciating where I was in life. I also began to fear the idea of looking back with regret, of realising that I had missed out on the beauty of everyday moments simply because I was too focused on what was next. Definitely as well the influence of people around me who lived in the present and had more quote unquote fun definitely also pushed me to make the change because life is happening right now and not someday in the future. my head now that I want to do a run while I'm on the beach right in Australia because like how, how many times is that gonna happen in my life so no regrets no regrets right <laughs>
I think that the reason why a lot of people won't live in the moment is simply because it's a more difficult option. It's definitely more uncomfortable and I obviously don't know this because I'm not 80 but based on the last 23 years and how things have gone so far I know the regret that I have for things if I have the option to do them but I say no. If I don't walk on the beach because it's cold or watch the sunset when I have the time I have regret. So for me that is how living in the moment was developed and it is something that I aim to continue doing and trying to do for the rest of my life.